Hi, I'm excited to show you some new projects uh, using some new toys from the Occasions Mini Catalog, which is from Stampin' Up! here. And the thing that I want to show you uh, right now is the Framelits collections. And these are um, the Hearts collection and the Labels collection. Um, the Labels collection is what we're going to use today, along with the Apothecary Art stamp set, which is this one here. And I'm going to show you how to make a really quick um, birthday tag using some of the stamps in the set. Now this is a clear mount stamp set which um, if you haven't seen these before I'll give you a really quick tutorial on them. Um, I have one on mounting stamps so you can look on my um, tutorials for mounting stamps and getting them all ready to use but once you have them mounted you're just going to take a clear acrylic block, this is the E block um, from Stampin' Up! Lay your stamp down on the table and press the block down onto it and give it Oh, good five seconds. Use my um, Baja Breeze Classic Pad. I'll go ahead and open that up. And I'm going to stamp here on a piece of Whisper White cardstock. Now, when you use a stamp this big, sometimes I like to use my pad upside down and apply ink to the stamp this way. That way, I can take a good look at it, make sure I've got enough ink on there where I want it, and go ahead and stamp on our cardstock. Okay. So I'm going to stamp that straight down and straight up, and that gives us, okay, Baja Breeze is hard to see for you, but trust me, it's there. Um, so I'm going to take my stamped image here, and I'm going to get out my Framelits collection, the labels collection here. They come in these nifty um, plastic envelopes. And these are um, cutting blades for the Big Shot die cut machine. And so what you want to do is find one that is the right size for your image. That one looks about perfect. And um, crazy, but this is actually the cutting blade itself. And I don't know why they're not, I mean I can rub my fingers on it and so forth. It's not sharp with my hands, but magically it's sharp uh, when you put it through the Big Shots. And this is the Big Shot from Stampin' Up! and I'm going to set it right there. Now when you make your Big Shot, um, use your Big Shot, you're always making a sandwich. And so usually you use um, these cutting plates on the top and the bottom, and mine are, they come clear, and then once you use them a bunch they start to look a little cut up. Um, that's fine, it's not a big deal. And then the Big Shot also comes with a multi-purpose platform. So to use these framelits, you're going to actually use all the tabs shut on your multi-purpose platform. You put your cutting plate down, so broad on the bottom, then your stamped image here in the middle, your framelit, and the framelit has a little ridge on it, so the ridge is on this side, this is a completely flat side. The ridge is a cutting part, so you want the cutting part to contact your cardstock. So the little ridge goes down and position that just where you want it, and since they're clear open in the middle, you can see exactly where you're putting your framelit and get it exactly where you want it and then just put another cutting pad on top of it and okay pardon me while I shift this away from my camera for a second I'm going to just crank this through and they crank through very easily and then when I pull this out I'm going to pop my framelit bed off and there we have our stamped tag all ready to go. See how easy that was? Now before I put this away, I'm going to um, make a, a background for this since I said we're making a birthday tag. This is the Twitter Pated Designer Series paper and I want to have one that goes just about like that. So what I'm going to do is grab my framelits and take the one that is the next size up. Okay and just double check that. Yeah, that looks about where I want it. Okay, so now I'm going to take um, my same sandwich here, so cutting plate on the bottom, um, then my designer series paper, my framelit, and I'm going to kind of turn that a little bit to the side there just for a little bit of extra interest, and then um, cutting pad on the top. So bread on the top and the bottom, um, veggies and cheese and so forth in the middle, and then we crank that through and we have our cut um, piece of designer series paper that's a perfect match for our tag. This is going to um, be layered here with Stampin' Dimensionals and 
when you get to the edge of your Stampin' Dimensionals and you don't have any big um, hexagons left, I like to just go ahead, oh here's one full one, and uh, cut up my borders and use my border pieces here um, to hold up the pieces from my project. So I'll go ahead and pull those up and lay those on top. Okay, so we have a pretty good start on our tag, but we're not done yet, of course, um, because the next thing we need is a little greeting. And in my Apothecary Art stamp set, there is a happiest birthday greeting. So we'll grab this one here. And again, you want to remember to set that rubber side down on the table and then grab your block. The one I'm using right now is my H block. And just hold that for la-di-da-di-da, da di da di da a good five seconds or so. Okay, until you have a good bond there. And then you want to um, take your next ink pad, which is going to be, for me, uh, not quite navy, which I am in love with. So I'm going to take my not quite navy ink pad and ink that one up. And Oh, I could have done it right side up instead of upside down either way. But I have a strip of Whisper White cardstock here. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp happiest birthday. Okay, there we have that on our cardstock. And if you want to make a cute little flag and you happen to have a square punch handy, one of the things you can do is grab your, this one's a three quarter inch square punch and go ahead and punch a little corner there. So I have one corner and two corners okay. and then this piece is going to fit on here now I could make it just flat but what fun is that um, I'm going to take this and between my fingers here you can see from the side I'm going to just roll that cardstock a little bit and then same thing on this side but I'm going to roll it the other direction so it's got see kind of an S curl to it which really is uh, super trendy right now. So I can go ahead and get that ready to stick down there. But you know what, I think it needs something else. I'm going to take my Certainly Celery marker and do a little, let's see, do just a really quick color on a few of these leaves here. Now when you're coloring with the markers, you want to remember um, that the Baja Breeze ink is water soluble. So if you really color a ton, you're going to end up with a little bit of the ink starting to lift up and smear. So I'm just doing real brief, tiny, tiny little touches there. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, get my flag ready. And I need some Stampin' Dimensional Pieces, because it's just nicer when it sticks up a little bit more. So we'll go ahead and stick that down. So there's the beginnings of our tag. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and grab my crocodile, 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 and I'm going to punch a hole, because we need a hole in the corner here for our ribbon. And the ribbon I'm using is this awesome, awesome um, satin pleated ribbon which I'm going to string through the hole here. And this is also in the Occasions mini catalog. Okay. Because Pink Pirouette is one of the other colors from our Twitter painted designer series paper. And on those blossoms there, I'm just going to add a little color right around the edges. So you don't even have to color the whole thing. So once I have my flowers uh, colored a little bit, then we have our tag, which we can wrap around a... Um, cute little gift item and there you go really quick um, quick and easy little tag that uses the apothecary art stamp set and the um, new framelits labels collection to go ahead and make something really cute